All right, I wish I could uh, spend a little time talking, uh, but Eric has to read the new rules for Hometown Scramble. So uh, this is a, uh, where we play a game show. Uh, it's called Hometown Scramble. Eric explains the rules. Eileen looks at him longingly. Eric Parker, good morning to you. Good morning to you. So as a lawyer, I feel uniquely qualified to tell you that lawyers ruin everything. Mm -hmm. And that has happened in this case. Mm, what, happened? what happened was the people at corporate in Des Moines found out that we were running a contest and giving away <laughs> T-shirts. And okay. we have this lovely attorney named Josh Pila who then wrote us two pages of rules for Hometown Scramble. Do we have to read them on the air? On the air. You are not reading <laughs> they will all be posted at WFSB.com, yes. but here's the gist. This is a Twitter skill contest known as Hometown Scramble. It begins at approximately 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It's 5.45, but whatever, he's a lawyer. Entries become the property of WFSB. They will not be acknowledged or returned. Watch WFSB News every Wednesday between 5.30 and 6.30. We'll display, display three Connecticut town names whose spelling has been scrambled. The first entrant to unscramble the town names and tweet the three correctly spelled town names to the station mentioning the above specified Twitter handle, that would be at WFSB Morning Team, will be the winner. Winner is determined on air by station anchors. Refreshing Twitter replies in real time and decision of station is final and binding in all respects. Entrants must tweet from a public unlocked account in order to be eligible. Entries containing incorrect responses, misspelled responses, or responses that do not mention the above specified Twitter handle are ineligible. One entry per person, one winner per household. Previous winners of the hometown scramble are ineligible to win successive iterations of the contest. That's the first paragraph. No, no, no more. No That's more. the first paragraph. I can't do it anymore. Legal residents of Connecticut who are 18 years of age or older at the time of entry are eligible to win, except employees of sponsor or any other organizations affiliated with the sponsorship, fulfillment, administration, prize support, <laughs> advertisement, promotion. All right, enough. enough. Oh, my God. Not taking it. I didn't even make it two paragraphs into this. All right, but if you Josh Pilot, good morning, and thank you so much for thank writing you very these. Much. Watch All the rules. At right. Follow the rules, people. Follow it's the, the law. rules. All right, okay. 545. Are we ready to play? Yes. Oh, you get the T-shirt. If you, if you, we didn't, Paul, thank you. Now, all right, here we go. Now, this is brought to you by Joel Hydash. And, uh, Joel, I want to thank you because he came off of the Farmer's Cow uh, sure. theme. So it's, 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 it's a milk theme. It's a dairy theme. Ready? Last, last week when Farmer's Cow dropped off a bunch of milk and we drank it here on the Anchor Desk. Another time to say, good morning, Attorney Josh Pyla. <laughs> That's Joel. right. Oh, I, Josh, I have nothing to do with this. Right, Channel 3 Early Warning Radar. Dry. Here we go. Are you ready? Yogurt. Ooh. Yogurt Nam Sl. Ah. Cream Thens. Cream, yogurt, cream. Wow. And cheese. Oh, well wow. Done. Now, this is a smaller town or a hamlet. I'm just going to give everybody a little heads up. Colchester. Uh, but it's not Colchester. But it's around Colchester. Uh, uh, <laughs> Are you okay? Over there? Yes, I'm just giving the, the viewers a little bit of a All hint. Right. Not Colchester, but kind of close to Colchester. Uh, yogurt. <laughs> Caitlin, I've reviewed the rules. Talking. There's nothing in the rules that says we can give hints. Exactly. All right. Yogurt, <laughs> cream, cream thens, and cheese. What is sir? Yogurt, not cream, is cheese. It's brought to you by the Dairy Board of America. Brought to you by Maple Milk. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to tell you, because they'll be happy to hear that Yukon Joe Bob had it first, but he's a previous winner. So Yukon Joe Bob! So he's not Yay! eligible to win again based on our two pages of Twitter rules. So good job, Joe Cosa. But Robin A.B., Robin Ann F.B., uh, has the what she believes are the answers. Would okay. like to see if well, she's right? Let's go. Let's go to the map. Let's go to the maps. Yogurt Nam Sl. I should believe that would be Glastonbury. Let's see if it is glad. Are there any cows in Glastonbury? Oh, I think, yeah. I think sure. there are plenty of cows in Glastonbury. Glastonbury, you are correct. What, Excellent work. That's what would number two be? Uh, number two, uh, she believes to be Manchester. Ooh, cream thens. Doesn't it look like cream de mint? Yes. It looks like cream de mint yeah. to me. Could it be Manchester? It is Manchester. You are, you're one away from winning that t shirt. Uh, Robin SNL and Snuck <laughs> Nuggie. AB, Robin AB. Robin she AB. believes the last one would be Westchester. Let's see if it is Westchester, Connecticut. It is Westchester, Connecticut. Congratulations! Yes. Congratulations to Robin. That's Robin. A, that's great. Do we have to do anything official now? Or? Uh, no. Send me uh, a large or extra large. And it does say, it actually does say in the rules that you need to send in. Uh, your large or extra large and a photo of yourself. And a photo of yourself. There yeah. you go. S Subject Haney. to the station's website wow. terms of service at, you know. It's S in the official rules. S. Haney at WFSB.com.